So how's it going, motherfuckers? I needed to make a, another follow-up video for Star Wars The Last Jedi, my review. So, you know, and this is not just on my video. There's bigger YouTubers uh, getting the same amount of flack. People who enjoy this movie, um, such as myself, are facing a lot of adversity. They're facing a lot of backlash. They're facing a lot of people acting like morons. And that is simply because I, I, I'm seeing this word being used by most people. They're calling other people morons. I got called that a couple of times on my video, a moron. Simply because I don't believe that the movie is bad. And I'm not really um, buying into a lot of the arguments. And the thing is... I'm aware of the arguments. See, like, if I wasn't aware of them and I wanted to live in my own world of free of criticism, first of all, I wouldn't even come on YouTube. That That's for starters. But the thing is, people are making like, oh, I don't know that there's, you know, people have problems with certain aspects of the film. I did a whole video on it for 30 minutes discussing all those concerns. I talked about it being an SJW movie. I talked about it, you know, um, not being quite what people were looking for, that it was too new, that it wasn't old enough. I said, the thing is, you've been calling people morons for two decades now. Enough is fucking enough. I I've had enough. Ever since the prequels came out in 1999, people have been giving Star Wars fans, their fellow Star Wars fans... A hard time. Why we can't just all come together as Star Wars fans and just appreciate these films? Now, you know, it's, that's beyond me. But the thing is, you might be saying, well, Brad, you know, if we didn't have debate, you know, th then it would be boring. And that's true. That's one of the more fascinating things uh, uh, about life in general. Without negativity, things kind of would be boring. But it's just funny and it needs to be pointed out and it's important to make these types of videos that if you can't make an argument um, about the movie, about why you dislike it, and you just simply have to resort to calling somebody a moron, that pretty much makes you look like a moron in, you know, in the same breath. If you really can't piece together anything and you just don't say moron, just go right for the insults right away. If you need to resort to name calling, we said this time and time again, if you cannot fully come up with a full debate that has reasons, you know, you, you've really lost the debate, really, quite frankly. You've totally lost that debate. You haven't. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking bikers. Bikers are annoying. I mean, they're almost as bad as the people calling uh, <laughs> people morons over a Star Wars movie. And that's the thing, really. You're calling people a moron over a fucking movie. Uh, like, this is something, really, that we have to buckle down and we really have to, like, you know, d direct our anger at these people. I mean, there's so many more people in this world that you can direct your anger towards. And instead, you're putting it towards Star Wars fan. So, oh, I can't stand it. People like The Last Jedi. I, I mean, really, like, if it really triggers you to the point that you have to go on videos to either thumbs them down or you have to, you know, dispa make disparaging remarks towards the person who liked the movie, that really says something about you as an individual that you really, you, you rather watch a video that you have every intent and purpose of disliking because you disagree with the viewpoint yet you listen to the video and of course you know you've got these people who say oh well, I didn't even listen to the video because that video is horse shit I won't listen to it okay well you still took the time to click the video and write the comment proving that you have nothing better to do than doing what you just did that is something I'll never understand you you came to a video there's so many other videos on YouTube Hating on this film. That's the same thing I said about when I, I said I like Batman versus Superman. Or when I said I, I dislike some of the Marvel movies, like the Avengers movies, like uh, Age of Ultron or Civil War. I said I dislike those movies. Yet people came on those videos to give me a hard time. Instead of being with their fellow fans, 
instead of being with their fellow haters for Batman versus Superman. I mean, there were like big time parties going on, you know, on the internet, on YouTube. You could easily find a video that fit your point of view. You can find a video that fit your point of view on just about everything. But instead of, you know, going on that video, making friends, um, finding people with similar viewpoints, what did you choose to do? You, cho you chose to ignore those hundreds of other videos so you could come on that one video to just give that person a hard time and say the movie sucks and that you're a moron for liking this movie because you feel it sucks. Well, I don't feel it sucks. I happen to really like this movie. I hope to think, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's an excellent movie and I gave the reasons why. I went through the arguments and it is funny that you could make almost an hour worth of material and content talking about the negatives and the positives of this film and talking about actually other people's perspectives and comparing your perspective to those people's perspectives and yet that's still not good enough for people you're a moron I'm not saying I'm the smartest guy in the world but I know I'm not a moron <laughs> I, I, I mean it would be pretty hard to put these videos together and come up with the points that I do and be a moron I mean, honestly, just because you disagree with a particular viewpoint, you still can't appreciate the fact that I took the time to make the video and not only examine my own viewpoints towards the film, but examine your uh, your viewpoints towards the film. Can I at least get some credit for that? I'm just saying it really is a little bit insulting when you take the time to make a lengthy video. And you can complain about the length if you want. That's a valid complaint. I understand that some people only want to watch five or ten minute videos. But if that's the point, you clearly see before you click on the video how long it's going to be. And you right there can make the choice. Well, I don't want to watch this long video. You know, I, I want to watch a video that, you know, um, that, that, that really just like wraps it up quicker. But the thing is, you know, I, I can't really get to the point without making other points first. Because you see, the thing is here on YouTube... I feel that if you make a really tiny short video, you're leaving yourself open to a lot of criticism and you're leaving yourself open to a lot of questions. So instead of getting a thousand questions about, oh, well, how did I feel about this and why did I say this in the video? I feel that, well, here, I'm here on YouTube. I have the extra minutes. I can make the video as long as I want. So I figured, why not just go the extra mile and provide those answers verbally in the video instead of having people come up with a thousand questions because they see that when people make these little short videos because they're scared people are not going to watch their video due to watch time here and the number of minutes people spend actually watching the video and they want people to watch the entire video instead of just a portion of the video i don't get why people don't just take the extra time i think their fans and subscribers would really appreciate it. so that's what i do for my fans and my subscribers i give you a video that has all the answers all the different perspectives so you know because i feel you're gonna watch the video if you truly are a fan and you truly are you know a loyal subscriber right you know most people who i'm a fan of and a subscriber i usually watch their video to completion you know nostalgia critic put out a 45 minute of Home Alone 2. I like Nostalgia Critic, I like Home Alone 2. I watched the entire video of it, all 45 minutes, because the thing is, I respect the time the guy made for that video. And, you know, it did take, you know, I got home from work and that does take a big portion out of, you know, my free time watching that video. It's almost an hour. But I felt like, you know what? I'm going to dedicate the time. It's, it's, it's entertainment. It's like watching a TV show for me. I respect the man for taking the time and editing this video and putting it together for my entertainment. So, you know, even though, like, I disagree with a lot of his points, I still have a lot of fun. It's like the Amazing Atheist or, or TJ Kirk, as he's renamed himself. I, I, I really don't agree with a lot he's got to say, but I respect the man. He's well-spoken. He takes the time to put together an informative and thought-provoking video. And so, I, you know, I don't listen to all his videos, but I pay the guy a lot of respect by at least, you know, not saying that he sucks or that he's a moron. Because TJ Kirk obviously is, is not a moron. He's actually quite intelligent. And, you know, um, he brings forth a lot of interesting viewpoints. He really does. 
And uh, just because you don't agree with the man's politics 100% or his world viewpoints, you just still give the guy a listen because, you know, he, he's putting in an effort and it, it is a worthy effort and it is an effort worth your time. And that's what I'm talking about here in this video. I, I felt I put together a, a pretty hearty effort to try to analyze this film and try to compare it to the past films and how people just kind of have a generational gap that they don't like these movies because they simply can't compare it to the films of the past. But that doesn't mean that you're a moron because you like these movies. Do you have to abide by a strict code? Oh, you're not allowed to like these movies. You're only allowed to like the original trilogy. You as a truce, and that's where we get into this really hairy area true Star Wars fans. You're only a true... Well, 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 what is a true Star Wars fan, really? Are you a true Star Wars fan if you like every movie? If you don't like every movie, well, how are you a true Star Wars fan? There's movies out there that you're not really giving the time of day. You're not giving them the respect that, they, that some people feel they deserve. Or are you a true Star Wars fan because you only like the movies that most of the people tell you to like, like the original trilogy. So if you like the prequel films, you're not a true Star Wars fan. You're only allowed to like the original trilogy. Well, okay. There's a lot of rules to follow for just being a Star Wars fan. You know, it, it kind of makes the whole idea of being a Star Wars fan unappealing when you think about how many rules these people want to enforce. I mean, they are. They're like Star Wars Nazis. You know, they, they, they want to tell you what to like and what not to like. And I'm kind of getting sick of the whole thing. You know, I feel that you should be allowed to like whatever movie you want to like. It, it's really up to you. You shouldn't have to be told by other fans how you should feel. And, and that's the problem. See, that is the problem with movies like The Last Jedi when it comes to the fan response. People are simply just going along with what other people are saying. They're not really giving this movie, you know, a chance. Some people might not even be watching the movie because they simply feel that it's not worth their time due to other people's opinions. And that's kind of a scary thought. They might actually just bypass this film altogether due to the negative response. People do that. They don't want to waste their money. They don't want to waste their time. So they're going to listen to other people. Like, for example, if you didn't like episode two or you didn't like episode three or you didn't like episode one or you didn't like force awakens or you didn't like the whole trilogy and you have a person maybe on youtube making a review about you know not liking last jedi you're probably you might pass that movie up but who knows you could be passing up a movie that you will truly enjoy just because that youtuber that you like didn't give you a different perspective didn't give you uh, an honest opinion he gave you his opinion which is you know in turn honest but, you know, see, what I tried to do is try to tell you, you know, what you might like and what you might, might not like about the movie. I, I told you, if you're one of these people that didn't like the change, if you didn't like the different tone of, you know, the like the prequel movies, or you didn't like Force Awakens and you just don't like a new direction, or if you want to feed into the whole theory aspect of things and, and call it an SJW movie. I think that you're really doing yourself a um, an injustice and a and a disservice because you're just you know and it really is it, it, it's it is a little bit ridiculous calling this an SJW movie when all the claims are very minor the the characters that they're talking that about uh, that are SJW they don't really get in the way like you know I really didn't get in so into it so much about Rose because all the, the emphasis was on Holdo and all these SJW rants and how this movie is just completely taken over by SJW uh, social politics. You know, there's the character Rose, the, the Asian girl. Well, I, I talked a little bit about her, but I didn't really get so much in depth. They're making like she's the centerpiece for SJW and they don't like the way how she like knocked... Um, you know, knocked out Finn and everything, and that they're making, like, she made a fool out of Finn and all that, and the thing is, you know, people were having problems, you know, saying, and, and this is the honest, the God's honest truth, and, and remember, guys, remember the, the fact that I'm a conservative as well, and I've rallied against SJWs on here for, like, close to two years already, the simple fact of the matter 
is that there were people that had a problem with Finn being black in Force Awakens. And they weren't in like really great numbers, but there was a pretty sizable amount of people that said that they didn't like Finn because they really didn't want a main black character. Not to say that there wasn't, you know, already Lando Calrissian, which was a black character, but he was far more minor than Finn. I'm just saying that, you know, you guys are ridiculous. You can't say that you didn't want a black character in Star Wars and then complain when you've got Rose in there. And she's, you know, something, they made Rose goofy and awkward. It wasn't like she was some domineering feminist. So I, I, I that I don't get. Hold on, I could start to see. I said that. I said she was far too minor to really ruin the film for me because she has, a, like, if you add up all the screen time she has, it's 10 minutes. And then we talk about Ray. People say, oh, well, this is feminism. This is fem Nazi. Uh, bullshit because Ray was able to wield the force in a matter of minutes you know and, and the thing is because uh, apparently to be a Jedi you you have to um, go through this slow process like did we really need to go through the whole process that we saw it, it, from a new hope to return the Jedi do we really want to sit around and watch that same sequence again I mean, I don't think it's really necessary that we have to watch a whole Jedi progression uh, training session again. I, I, I mean, but if that's what you guys want, if that's what you were looking for in a film, then I can see why you didn't like The Last Jedi. Because, once again, it's not like the original trilogy. And we keep hearing that argument again and again. It's like you could save yourself a lot of breath just by saying, you know what, guys? I'm never going to like another Star Wars movie because they're not going to be like the original trilogy. So I'm not going to waste your time, you know, saying that this movie is bad and everything. Because really, I'm just biased. Because I, these movies are just not going to be what I'm looking for. There's nothing that any of these directors could do. Because my nostalgia for these old films are so strong that I'm going to make up lame-ass excuses to try to cover for these um, for, for the original trilogy. Because I don't want anything being able to touch it. And I'm going to cover it up that these movies might actually be good. Or there might be things that I actually like. And Hello Greedo brought up a good point in his video. He said that, why does it have to be so black and white? Why do we have to love something? And why do we have to hate something? I, You know, I, I never got this. It's like the same thing like when it comes to just politics, it, 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 like in the real world. Why do we have to hate somebody or love somebody? It's like, why can't we just say, well, he's not bad, or you know, she, he, you know, he's not really my type, but you know, we'll see what happens, or you know, when it comes to net neutrality, you could be like me. I'm not a big fan of it, but I think that maybe there might be some benefits to it. That's why I really haven't made a huge rant on it here on this channel because I feel there's a lot of misinformation out there. I will put out a video on it. If people want to hear me do kind of like a deep analysis of it, I got to do a little bit more research on it, of course, because this is a topic that will get me called a moron by a lot of people, even if they are uh, misinformed on the topic. So, but, I, but I'm saying, why can't we have people like that? Like when it comes to certain opinions and viewpoints, why can't we just at least say, well, you know, we don't know everything about this or it's not bad, you know, it's not great, but it's okay. I haven't heard one person just say, well, the movie's okay or it's good. It's either, oh, it's awesome or, oh, it's bad. And I might be, I might be on that end of the spectrum. I think that the movie is really awesome and I like it a lot. You know, but the thing is, it's like there are a lot of people where I'm seeing it's got to either be black and white with them. And I'm not really fully understanding whatever happened to people just saying things are okay or they're above average. Like, you don't hear that anymore. It's one of the two extremes. Anyway, guys, you're not a moron if you like this movie. You are a moron if you are telling other people that they're a moron for enjoying this movie. Um... And, you know, the thing is, I'm not attacking haters. If you want to dislike this movie, go right ahead. 
But give your reasons why if you're going to come on a video. If you're going to specifically come onto a video that's praising this movie, it's like the same thing if somebody, if I came onto a video where someone was attacking this movie. Uh, uh, you know, I would give my reasons why I enjoyed this film. Uh, you know, I'm not just going to say, oh, you're a moron because you hate it. No, I'm going to tell you exactly why I like this movie. And I expect the same from you. Anyway, guys, until next time.